Morning lovely souls, it's Tim Wilde and it's Meditation Monday and uh, I'm inside today because I want to do a slightly longer meditation and if I go outside I'm going to get blown everywhere and you're not going to be able to hear what I'm saying. So um, this is a visualisation for the global navel chakra. Now I did this in a workshop last this time last year in a Zoom workshop so some of you might have already heard it. But I think it's particularly poignant at the moment because of where we are on the ascension pathway. Now, the navel chakra is the one physical chakra that is activated between the solar plexus and the sacral on our bodies. And where we are precisely at this moment in time, the the process of the navel chakra is as equally as important, if not more important than anything else that we're experiencing, because the velocity of the push to move into this higher blueprint or gold print, as my friend Polaris says, is literally overwhelming all of the dimensional spaces that, that, that we are occupying. So with, with what we are experiencing at the moment, obviously all of you are very aware of the push that we're receiving from 3D, this, this, this attempt to keep the planet kind of, you know, in, in 3D control. We, we're, we're not focusing on that this morning. What we're focusing on is re-establishing or activating even further the very powerful movement of energy that we are experiencing to connect with our fellow humans, to, to re-establish the higher boundaries of the, the, the golden civilization that we are building. But obviously we've got, as you've heard me say many times before, we've got to move through the changes first. So... This will take, so it's a 10 or 15 minute meditation visualization. We're going to be working with Master Boosley. We're going to be working with Archangel Metatron and many others. So just sit yourselves back, get yourselves nice and comfortable wherever you are. You can listen to this now or you can listen to this later. And for this visualization, we're, we're visiting the Temple of Nature. Okay, now the Temple of Nature was one of the most important um, temples that was always honoured during Golden Atlantis and some of you might be familiar with this place so just close your eyes now and allow yourselves to completely relax take a few deep breaths breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and as you're breathing into your lungs into your heart centre see yourself surrounded and filled with pure bright golden light breathe this golden light in there's an, a real abundance of the gold ray of christ around us at the moment and it's getting increasingly powerful as we move towards move towards the solstice breathe the gold ray in breathe out feel yourself lighting up any of the stresses any of the strains any of the things that might be occupying your attention at the moment Bring yourself into the now moment, okay? So we are calling to our higher selves and to the mighty Archangel Metatron to illuminate and guide our vibrations. With your eyes closed, be aware of him joining us now and filling us with the highest ascension light. You might feel him connecting with you via your stellar gateway chakra above the, the meter above the top of your head. It usually comes to me in a big bright explosion of golden orange light. So just feel him connecting to you now. And then also be aware that we're being joined by Master Vuzlu, the highest frequency Atlantean priest to ever incarnate. And he is overseeing this journey as well. So as you relax, as you're tuning into the vibration of where we are going, be aware of his presence. Some of you might see him as a bright orange and yellow presence. And some of you may perceive him as a man dressed in orange robes with a bright golden sun emblazoned on his chest. He is smiling as he steps forwards to greet us. 
Now behind Vuzlu, just be aware of the growing presence of many other high frequency souls. Vuzlu has brought company with him and there are so many assisting on this journey for us at the moment. First of all, dragons of many colours and elemental form, fire, earth, air, water, higher light, violet flame. All of them are joyous to be here taking part in this. Be aware of unicorns also in their thousands. Some of you may see them as the pure white horse, but they will also appear as very illumined points of incredibly powerful light. And the Archangels are here with us too. Say hello to Michael, to Gabriel, to Raphael, to Zadkiel, to Christiel, Shamuel, Universal Angel Mary, Jophiel, and many others as well. Just feel the building energy of their presence. We also have with us the United Extraterrestrials here, with representatives from Orion, from Sirius, from Lyra, from Andromeda, and the unities of the Seven Suns, Arcturus, Pleiades, and they're all gathered here in their luminous energy bodies. And we welcome the Atlantean angels also, the dolphins, the sea elementals, the energy souls of the nature kingdoms, the sylphs, the fairies, the sprites, and the powerful elementals from the land and from the sky. So now within a short space of time, you have joined with this vast group of souls representing Earth and our galactic connections. And lastly, Ascended Master Pan steps forth and he is followed by the 12 members of the Intergalactic Council. So just to now allow yourself a few moments to really absorb the frequencies around you. Every soul present is in ascended form and they are wearing their brightest light. They are asking you to join them. So be aware of your frequency rising. Just allow each of the high frequency souls to step forwards and gently bless your ascension pathway. So as I'm speaking, one by one they are stepping forwards to you and they will place a hand upon your aura or your fields and just present you with a delicate but powerful energy gift that lights you up. So just allow a few moments for this to happen. So as they are passing you and placing their gifts within your aura and your fields, just be aware now that as your energy shifts, that your perception of reality is also beginning to shift and change. You are going directly now to a place that still exists in the higher dimensions and it is called the Temple of Nature which is one of the most highly revered temples in Atlantean times. So just feel your perception and your energy placement beginning to shift and change. And you find yourself now just gently standing in a beautiful 
serene woodland glade. All around you it appears to be early spring. The air is soft and warm. Insects buzz and hum gently and bright green leaves are bursting from the countless trees above your head. You raise your face to the canopy above and just allow a few moments for the warm spring sunshine to touch your face. The smells in the air are powerful, they are exquisite. Wood, leaves, fern, blossoms and the very forest glade itself breathing with high frequency life. As you acclimatise more you can hear a stream rushing some distance to your left and to your right you may see animals moving around, rabbits hopping <clears throat> lazily into the undergrowth. This is Atlantis in its fifth dimensional heyday. And you decide to explore and find a path which you now decide to follow through the trees. Very soon you will come to a clearing with the most beautiful building in the centre. This building is shaped like a huge dome but it is covered with living moss and ferns and other plants just beginning to spring into life and flower. All around are plants and trees and flowers, a lot of them might look familiar to you and very similar to the ones that we share our planet with now. Now stood at the entrance of the temple are two smiling figures. Master Pan, who is dressed in brown and green robes, and Master Vuzlu, who is dressed in his favourite orange garb, with a bright sun emblem leaping from his chest and catching your eyes. They welcome you to the Temple of Nature and invite you to step inside with them. As you step inside you receive an almighty surprise. It was not what you were expecting. The entire room is filled with high frequency and even alien technology which is supported by intricate displays of high frequency crystals. Laid out before you is a vast display of crystals in orderly beds with every form of life on planet Earth. Trees, plants, flowers, insects, fish, animals and humans represented holographically within the crystals as blueprints. They literally stretch as far as your eyes can see and are attended to by flitting fairies and bright elementals. Pulses of light hum from crystal to crystal and you can immediately see that all forms of Earth's life are interconnected with one another, creating a powerful crystalline web. Ascended Master Pan smiles at you, and then he breaks the silence. This was always a very finely balanced job, he says. Vuzlu asks you to walk with them to another room in which sits a beautiful crystal skull upon a clear crystal table. This skull is carved from fire opal and they invite you to sit with them with the skull in your hands. It is just small enough to fit comfortably in your palms and it begins to immediately warm to your energy. Just take a few moments to meditate with the masters 
and allow the skull's energy to integrate with you. And begin to feel the sensation of warmth all over. This is not uncomfortable, but it, you might perceive it as a tingly rush of energy that settles in the area between your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. Your navel chakra is beginning to light up a bright radiant orange. You can actually feel and see its light beginning to flood from your stomach area and fill the room around you. The two masters smile at each other and they close their eyes to embrace your light. Master Vuzlu invites you to join hands with them now and focus your intention on every single human soul on the planet. Under the law of grace, you are now activating the collective navel chakra for the whole of humanity and for every living soul on planet Earth. Let's take a few moments to sense and visualise this occurring under the law of grace for every single soul on the planet. And now a powerful beam of light leaves the crystal skull in your hands and rises through the roof of the temple of nature. Together you can see it moving up and up before splitting into billions of separate beams and touching the navel chakras of every single sentient soul on planet Earth with an incredible flash of bright sunshine orange light. It has begun, says Pan with a smile. And Vuzlu nods his head in agreement. Now after relaxing with the masters for a few moments more, just take a few moments to see what is happening on our planet with your eyes closed. Visualise all the billions of souls that we share the planet with and just see and sense and feel the ignition or the lighting up of the global navel chakra. And now after just relaxing for a few moments more with the masters, it is time to leave the temple. So step outside the beautiful temple of nature. And when you do, you are greeted by a huge sea of companions that joined you at the start. Now these soldiers of the light will be with you for every step of the coming journey from this point onwards. Just take a few moments to say your thank yous and your farewells and just very gently now start to bring yourself back energetically to your body, to wherever you are on, in the world and just feel yourself grounding in. Just take a few moments, bring yourself back into your body, feel the soles of your feet below you on the floor. Use your earth star to fully ground you in and come back, back, back. And when you are ready, open your eyes. If your hands are rubbed together,
And I hope you enjoyed that. It was a powerful activation for the Global Naval. So just, you can do this as often as you want. If you're feeling that your vibration has been pulled one way or the other, this will bring you back to centre and it will put you completely on point with the energy that is being that is coming through very very powerfully at the moment happy monday to you all i'll see you again either during the week or on friday lots of love bye for now